The next inductee we welcome into the Hall of Fame this year is a woman whose life sounds like it should be a movie. From journalist to rancher, this one is pure cowgirl. Let's meet the indomitable Car Caroline Lockhart. Twenty eighteen Cowgirl Hall of Fame honoree, Caroline Lockhart. With a spirit wild as the West itself, Caroline Lockhart had many roles throughout her life. Journalist, best selling author, rodeo founder, adventurer, and rancher, her lifelong quest was to live the life of a cowgirl, independent on horseback in the beautiful open country of the West. Raised by a Kansas cattle trader, Lockhart liked to claim that she was born on a horse. Born in 1871, she grew up to be a strong-willed young woman with an adventurous spirit, little fear, and a sharp sense of humor. After being an admittedly mischievous student at boarding schools in Kansas and Pennsylvania, she set off for Boston, Massachusetts, aspiring to become an actress. Two years later, she sought bigger fame by way of making history as a journalist at the Boston Post. As the first female reporter for the paper, she took on many dangerous assignments, such as being the first woman to dive in a deep diving suit into Boston Harbor. She also wrote profiles on celebrities and personalities, including Buffalo Bill Cody and a number of his men, greatly admiring the West that they represented. By 1904, she was working in Montana on assignment for the Philadelphia Bulletin. She passed through Cody, Wyoming and found the American Western home she'd always desired. Through the 1900s and 1910, she became friends with Buffalo Bill and a number of real Westerners. She went on many dangerous trips to places like Wyoming's Hole in the Wall, home of Butch Cassidy's Wild Bunch, savoring the flavor of a great Western adventure. She began writing novels based on her new life. Her colorful writing and sharp wit easily turned her books into national bestsellers. Lockhart presented a version of the West that had stronger female characters, more humor, and vivid action. Among her many books, three were turned into motion pictures. Jumping back into journalism, she purchased the town's newspaper, the Cody Enterprise. Her articles were as vibrant and fiery as her fiction. At the same time, Lockhart co-founded the legendary Cody Stampede Rodeo, serving as the first board president, the only female to ever hold that position. After Buffalo Bill's death in 1917, Lockhart insisted that Cody honor its founder. She convinced prominent New York City social figure and sculptor Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney to raise funds for and to sculpt the statue that is now the centerpiece of the Buffalo Bill Center of the West Museum. The campaign and promotion of the piece solidified the showman's legacy. Still yearning for more adventure, as an authentic Westerner, Caroline Lockhart moved to one of the most isolated areas of Montana to homestead the L. Slash Hart Ranch. Starting with 160 acres, the 55-year-old gradually expanded over 6,000 acres through purchases and leases. In 1936, three loads of Lockhart steers topped the market in Omaha. Despite her literary, organizational business and civic successes, she considered becoming a cattle queen the highlight of her life. Although she had many loves throughout her life, Lockhart never married, remaining fiercely independent. She died in 1962 at 91 years old. For her fierce independence, adventurous spirit, and for capturing the essence of the Old West, we are honored to welcome Caroline Lockhart into the National Cowgirl Hall of Fame. And ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Caroline Lockhart's great-grandnephew, Michael McAfee, to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. When I was a boy growing up in the 50s in Tulsa, every summer I would take a trailways bus to Ponca City to visit my grandparents, crossing Osage County and the southern extremities of the Flint Hills, considered by many to be the finest native grassland in the United States. At that time, I did not connect the landscape out my window with the family ranching heritage started by my great-grandfather, Joseph C. Lockhart, nor did I envision being here today speaking on behalf of a Lockhart daughter who carried that tradition to Cody, Wyoming, 
and the dry head country of Montana. My grandmother, Grace Lockhart Edgington, had three siblings, all raised on a Kansas ranch in the heart of the Flint Hills. Her sister Caroline left Eskridge, Kansas, and after finishing her education in Pennsylvania, she set out on her life's journey. When that journey ended in the summer of 1962, she left behind a legacy so extraordinary. She was nominated for the title of Wyoming Person of the 20th Century. After a successful journalistic career back east, she traveled to Cody to do a piece on the Blackfeet Indians. She fell in love with the American West and its incumbent traditions of independence and self-reliance. Before she passed, she bought, owned, and edited the Cody newspaper, co-founded and served as the first president of the Cody Stampede, and an accomplished horsewoman she accumulated approximately 7,000 acres in the Dry Head region of what is now the Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area. Her ranch headquarters is a national historical site. She was a prolific author, and several of her books were made into movies, including The Fighting Shepherdess, The Man from Bitter Roots, and The Dude Wrangler. As an outspoken advocate on numerous political issues, including the repeal of prohibition, her renown in the Cody community is exceeded only by her friend, Buffalo Bill. Descendants of the Lockhart family, many of whom are here today, continue the family ranching heritage in the Flint Hills, honoring the legacy of Joseph C. Lockhart and his free-spirited daughter, Caroline. As her great nephew, it is an honor to be participating in Caroline's Hall of Fame induction. In closing, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize two people who have played a vital part in putting forth Caroline for induction. First, Ms. Robin Cutter with the Park County Wyoming Archives, and second, Mr. John Clayton, author, historian, and biographer of my great aunt, Caroline Lockhart. Thank you very much. Mr. McAfee, to you and to the members of the Lockhart family represented today, congratulations. Congratulations on this honor and Caroline Lockhart's rightful place in the National Cowgirl Museum and Hall of Fame. We are so glad that you are here. I could probably learn a thing or two from the journalist. Did, did the video say that she was the first woman to dive into the waters of the Boston Harbor? This journalist is afraid to dive into waters, pool water that's higher than five feet, so I got a long way to go. Congratulations to you all, Mr. McAmey, and your family.